Did your doctor say, I'm only giving you short-term prednisone, so it won't, won't cause any side effects? Well, that's just not true. Let me show you some evidence today, starting from top to bottom, of the side effects you might experience short-term if you only take prednisone for short-term. So first of all, we need to define what does short-term even mean? And what's tricky about that is scientific studies all define short-term to be a different number. Some say seven days or less, some say 21 days or less, some say 30 days or less, and even three months or less. So short term is kind of a ambiguous topic when you like try to do research about it like I have. But what I can tell you is there are definite side effects of prednisone short term. And I will share with you nine or more side effects of short term prednisone that you need to know. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. So let's start with your head. You are more likely to have a headache than if you were not to take prednisone. They did a study of healthy people and who didn't need prednisone. They just wanted to know what does prednisone do to people? And headache was the most common side effect that people complained about. These people were only given seven days of prednisone. And so within those seven days, people complained of headache more than any other side effect in that study of healthy people. Next, moving on to your mood. Mood changes are quite common. Anything from feeling fantastic, having euphoria and having more energy than you normally do, and I can just stay up and power wash my car and do all sorts of things I never had energy to do before, to depression and completely disabling anxiety. One person described it this way. I'm so anxious, nervous, like my skin is crawling and even a little burning sensation. It can be anything in that range. Even prednisone psychosis can happen at short-term um, amounts of medication. Moon face is one of the most iconic side effects of prednisone, and it doesn't normally happen at really short term. Usually in less than a week, it's quite unlikely that you will see moon face, but if you are given incredibly high doses, it is possible in two weeks or maybe three to get moon face. Though if you're on a lower dose, say between seven to 15 milligrams for several months, you may not get it for months and months. Uh, it might not be something that you have until long-term. Next, when I personally took prednisone, I got hot flashes, my red cheeks. This is what I wrote in my journal. I've got hot flashes and red flushing. My heart is beating so hard and fast as if I'd run a race, but it was just sitting down. Which brings me to the next one, which is your heart. Heart rhythm changes can happen, and that's related to the heart disease side effects of prednisone. Fast heartbeats are pretty common. One person described it as, I'm having anxiety, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, and loss of appetite after just a few days. Next is myopathy, muscles. So prednisone is stealing from muscles and it can cause myopathy, muscle wasting, muscle weakness. Now I wanna dive into some real good research that has recently been done about prednisone side effects to dive into these next side effects. So this one is infection. Now, a lot of people are prescribed prednisone because it is an immunosuppressant. It's suppressing your immune system because you might have an autoimmune disease or condition that you need to get under control. I personally have an autoimmune disease and that's why I had to take prednisone. So it's really common reason to take it. So are you more likely to get an immune complication like an infection? The answer is yes. So let me talk to you about a few of the studies. They did a big study of 800 people who had community acquired pneumonia. Most of these were older men in their 70s. And they gave half the people prednisone 50 milligrams and half of these people nothing milligrams. They looked exactly the same. There was a placebo pill. And so they were able to compare what does 50 milligrams of prednisone for seven days do compared to what does zero milligrams of prednisone do for seven days. And after about 30 days, there wasn't much of a difference. But when they went beyond 30 days to watch to see if these people had more side effects, 
It was fascinating. So they took it for pneumonia, right? Well, later on, the number of people who had a secondary pneumonia infection, which means they got pneumonia again, went way up. You had a 2.5 times greater risk of getting pneumonia again if you had taken prednisone versus if you had not taken prednisone. And they also found a two times greater risk for other infections coming. So you have 2.5 times greater risk of a specific infection of pneumonia and a two times greater risk of any kind of infection between 30 and 180 days out. And then prednisone is a class of drugs called glucocorticoid. That means it's affecting your glucose. And one way our body deals with glucose is sometimes it just holds onto it in the blood, which means you have diabetes, which means you have to take insulin. So they checked to see how many people 180 days after their seven days of prednisone needed insulin. And it was one person who was on placebo versus nine people who had taken prednisone who needed insulin six months after taking only a week's worth of prednisone. So prednisone can increase your blood sugar, increase your risk for infections. Yikes, even only seven days worth can do that. Another huge study, they looked at 300,000 people covered by a health insurance plan to see if a less than 30 day dose of prednisone would cause side effects. And what they found is first, a uh, risk for sepsis. Sepsis is like a full body infection with organ failure that usually leads to death. And it was a nearly five times greater risk for people who only had short-term prednisone. Then another potential problem would be a clot or a venous thromboembolism. And they found a three times greater risk for people who took prednisone. And then finally, bones. You might think, oh, what prednisone is doing to bones, it's not going to be for a long term. But at least that's what I thought. I didn't, when I was prescribed prednisone, I knew prednisone causes osteoporosis, which can lead to bone breaks, shrunkage of your height by compressing your spine, and all sorts of other side effects like that related to bone loss. But I didn't think it was for a long time. Well, this study showed at 1.8 times greater risk of fracture, bone breaking in people who took prednisone versus those who had not. And then another study that I've already mentioned, the one of healthy people who were just given prednisone just to see what it does. And they were testing their blood every several hours for seven days. And for these people, they noticed immediately that bone turnover signs osteocalcin and all of these other fancy, uh, hard to detect normally because doctors aren't ordering these tests, signs of bone turnover are happening even after just one dose of prednisone. And that was a really big surprise to me. I didn't realize it was that sudden, but it's decreasing your body's ability to build bone and increasing your body's breaking down of bone which all leads to bone loss. So that's a big problem, even after just one dose of prednisone, we're having bone loss. And then finally, adrenal suppression. This is your adrenal system is what makes, spits out cortisol, which is your stress hormone. And so your ability to deal with stress is less because prednisone is replacing cortisol. And that happens even after just one dose. They were showing that people's ability to make cortisol was gone instantly after just one dose because we're artificially replacing that cortisol. So here are nine or more side effects of prednisone that can happen after just one dose and definitely short term between seven to 30, max of three months, seven to 30 days, max of three months. So if you're wondering what can I do about all of these side effects? Well, that's what I created the prednisone checklist for. It talks about the top mistakes people make while taking prednisone and shows you exactly what you can do about it. Download my prednisone checklist right now. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.